So today we're going to talk about how to crop an iMovie. Now, there are two things you need to know. You need to know the fit um, control and the crop and fill control. They're both located here. Um, as we can see, this image is not in proportion to like your standard video image, which is 16 by nine or four by three. It's more, it's not a square, but it's closer to a square. So what happens is right now we're on crop to fill. Now, if we wanted to fit it and to see this whole image, we would click fit and it would show the whole image with um, you know black on the sides in order to fill it. Now, say for instance, on this image, we don't want the whole image. So we're gonna crop to fill it. Say for instance, we only want the title of this image. Basically what we would do is we would hit crop to fill. We would select the box to where we are. And if you hit return, it will basically um, give you the image. So let's just play these two real quick so you can see. So right now it's just showing the images we selected where when it gets to this image, it's showing the whole thing. But once again, we can actually take this, we could crop to fill, and if we only want to show a certain portion of this image, we could do that also, okay? So once we select it, it's returned. So now we're just showing small portions of the image. Now, the same thing goes for videos. Here's a video Nicolette and I made a few months back. And basically what we're gonna do is we're going to crop and fill it. Now say for instance, we only wanna focus on Nicolette in the scene. So we would make our box the size we want it to be. Um, around the area, we would hit return. And when we hit play, it's gonna stay very focused on that one area of Nicolette, okay? So we see it there, it's only focused on Nicolette, not the whole scene that's going on. Basically, those are the two controls you need to really focus on for um, you know cropping images or videos in uh, iMovie as you know. Now, also there is the, Ken Burns effect. We do have a video on that, but that's actually a really cool effect you could use in order to have um, still images have motion in your video. But we have a totally separate video on that, guys. Make sure you check it out on the channel. Also, make sure you like and subscribe so that way we can continue making really cool tutorials for you guys. I hope everyone found this useful and all of you have a great day.